Good morning. Um, I'm in pain. But it's okay because it's a beautiful day. Oh, thank you for that. So I had oral surgery again. <sighs> Long fucking story, but it's a story worth telling. I will tell it once I'm not frustrated and in the middle of it still. It's coming. It's a good story. But anyway, yeah, I just had it a couple days. Are you done? Like if you want to be on camera, is that what it is? You want to be on camera? Hi, this is Sylvester. He wanted to be on camera so fucking bad. So here he is. You happy? Are you happy? You gonna stop photobombing me? Anyway, yeah, I can't eat anything and it's a beautiful day out. So I figured what better way to spend it than to do shrooms. Stop it. Get some help. I haven't done shrooms in so long and I'm gonna take you guys along through my day. I'm gonna be by myself for the most of the day, so I'm just gonna enjoy my own company. It's about 10.30, almost 11 in the morning. I'm gonna make them right now. I'm gonna have them in the grossest way possible just because I have no other choice. I can't chew or anything like that for another week, so I'm just gonna blend them up and put them in water and just chug them. Let's do it. So I am gonna use the Nutribullet again. This is gonna be my best friend for this. I meant to take this earlier, but I don't know what it was about last night. Oh, this still smells like avocado. I literally just washed this out. If you guys saw my last video where I tried Cardi B's hair mask, I put the leftover mask that I had in the fridge and I just washed it out, like, and it still smells like avocado. I'm not trying to have avocado shrooms. I'll be right back. I've had shrooms this way before but i mean it's not the best but what is a good way to have shrooms you know am i allowed to show this on youtube like me making shrooms or that looks so gross i should have put less water in there cheers don't throw up oh my god that's disgusting it literally still tastes like like avocado oh my god i literally gagged like <laughs> i was literally about to throw up <laughs> this is literally the worst part of taking shrooms is taking them <laughs> i'm gonna shower and get ready for the day and i'll catch you guys when i'm late Hi. guys i'm literally so pissed <laughs> i'm so annoyed like it's been two hours. It's like 12.45 and I feel absolutely nothing. I feel absolutely nothing. I'm so upset right now. <laughs> I'm not really upset, but like I'm kind of upset. I'm opening my liquid chlorophyll, so I'm about to have that because I just got it in the mail. It's been sold out everywhere because now it's popping again and everyone wants to get it. So I had to order these online. But anyway, yeah, bro, I don't feel anything. And it's kind of annoying because I kind of revolved, I kind of planned my whole day around being high on shrooms and I was like so excited. I literally hit the guy up. I got like um, a quarter of them so and I took an eighth. So I took three and a half grams and I was like, bro, can I give you the other eighth back? Because this shit is not, this is not doing it for me. He was like, oh my God, really? Like, I'm sorry. I'll really, I'll give you the whole hunter back. I was like, I mean, if you want to, regardless, we're going to have a day with ourselves because it's really nice out. I'm not going to let these shrooms or lack thereof upset me because that's not the point. Um, I'm going to get a glass of water so I can get chlorophyll with you guys. The new plan for the day is I'm going to um, head down to my sister's. First, I'm going to get my money back. Then I'm gonna go to my sister's. There is a lot of spots near the river by where she lives. So we'll probably do something like that. And then later today, I think we're going to um, an outdoor live show nearby. Um, a few of our friends are performing, so that should be fun. I'm so bad at like, I'm trying to get better at enjoying time with myself because I feel like I'm so bad at planning things and like doing it with myself because my thing is like, I like to plan things out when it's really nice out and when I'm off and whatever, but I always 
picture it doing it with someone like i'm always like oh my god like i want to invite this person or this person and let's like i can't sometimes i can't wrap most of the time i can't wrap my head around the fact that i can go somewhere and plan something by myself i don't need to have company to make it worthwhile or have it be a good time you know so i'm trying to learn that lesson but nothing seems as fun when you do it by yourself as when you can enjoy it with your friend or your sister or whatever but i need to get out of that mentality so that's what we're doing today i was hoping the shrooms would help me a little bit with that but we're raw dogging it i guess we are raw dogging our issues today welcome i'm literally trying to get this open and i can't this is so embarrassing and i can't use my teeth <laughs> i can't use my fucking teeth because oh okay got it this is gonna be a mess why am i doing this why am i doing this why am i doing it like this why am i doing it like this you get the gist this is what it looks like i'm gonna get back to you guys when i'm doing the next thing i'm gonna sip this and get my money back I was walking around town and I was actually about to leave because the original spot I was gonna go to was pretty packed so <clears throat> I saw this guy putting up his paintings on the sidewalk and I had to turn around because they looked really cute and he was this local artist and he makes um, abstract art they all looked so pretty but I'm broke but I still wanted to support so I got this one and I really really like it I don't know I feel like no matter what somebody makes like I just love hearing someone like put their artwork and passion out there and like even if this was a fucking smiley face like it made me happy that he was like putting his artwork out there and like it all looked so simple yet so abstract which I guess it's why his name's abstract Frank <laughs> I'm gonna link his Instagram down below if you guys wanna buy anything of his. Support your local artists, support your local black artists, and have a great day. We just got to, anyway, <laughs> we just got to the river, or I just got to the river, and I think I'm just gonna sit here for a little bit, listen to some music, <clears throat> drink my liquid chlorophyll, maybe read. I haven't read in a long time. And yeah, I'll catch you guys when I'm doing something else than just sitting here. I'm not just sitting here, I'm enjoying my own company. I tried to read, I really did, I really, really did. I'm reading The Unbearable Lightness of Being, I just started it. You know when you, like you, Stop doing something that you use. Um, you had you 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 could you do you you want you you could do so. You know when you do something regularly and then you stop and then you start it again, it feels weird or like it's not as easy as it was before. Obviously, that's how it is with reading. Like last year, I was reading like three books at once. Like I was loving it. It was like piece of cake, and I stopped because I was just. I stopped and I'm starting to read again, bro. And I can't, ah, uh, my ADHD is bussing. This is hard. Like I'm not even like trying to be funny right now. Like being by myself is like so hard for me. Like to me being by myself equals staring at my phone or laying in bed, watching a show and like tuning out my thoughts that way. And I know that's unhealthy. I know that that's unhealthy. I know that I should be because when i'm with people and i'm like at the river with other people like i have no problem enjoying myself and being in the moment like i am in the moment and like enjoy it and like whatever but when i'm by myself i don't know why i feel lazy like i drove by myself to the river and it's beautiful and i'm sitting here and i'm like enjoying the view and i'm like getting anxiety because then i'm like okay now what like like now what do i do if I were with somebody else, I wouldn't care if I wasn't doing anything because we're both not doing something, so it makes me feel better about myself. Like, that's fucking crazy, and I'm tr I'm really trying to work on that. I'm trying to fight every urge to leave this river 
and also trying to fight every urge to just watch Bad Girls Club on my phone. I don't know. The rest of my day will be fun, I promise. <laughs> Once I leave the river and I meet up with my sister and we go to the show and everything, like, hopefully it becomes a better day. But honestly, what I don't know what I mean by better day. Like, I'm having a good day. I need to stop equating good day with hanging out with people, doing shit with other people, and start equating a good day with just enjoying and living in the present moment of each day because I should be grateful that I even can be outside in the river in my own fucking car by myself you know so anyway that's my little note for myself now i'm talking to you guys again i'll see you guys when i'm out of here a few minutes later <laughs> It's the next day. I suck. I'm sorry. After the river, I went over my sister's and went to the live show. Enjoy this clip. time um and then after that i just drove back home and i was so fucking tired i just knocked the fuck out um and here we are so yeah i'm about to go edit this video for you guys and put it up hopefully the same day listen to me carefully these hoes are scared of me don't want to be compared to me failure is red to me your man pull up my chair for me he want to marry me my haters give me clarity and popularity 